Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and happy Monday to you. It's time for a regular cheer corner. The 14 days of love are finished, and I had so much fun with that. I hope you don't miss out on the Be Mine Suite. Make sure you get it before it's gone. Um, anyway, today I have another brand new product to share with you, and I have a few laughs to share, too, because the funny thing is, is we don't always know what we're doing, or at least I don't. 18 years is a demo and I still can do things backwards and upside down. So let's have a look. Here we go. So I have all these wonderful things on my glass plate here, which you can still get for free, by the way, with the starter kit. Now here you can see they are just embossed and here they've somehow been stamped and embossed. And here, well, these ones are I've done on pattern paper, the ones at the top here. And then these ones are done differently once again. So I'm going to share how I did all this. And this is one of the secret weapons. So that is the embossing folder. And then look, there is a die, a big die. So this is what's called a hybrid embossing folder. So what you do is you open up your embossing folder and then you lay this in. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. It does fit in like this, but you don't lay it on that side. You lay it on this side and it kind of clicks into place. And then you put your paper here and you close the whole thing up and you run it through your embossing folder. And what it does is it cuts and embosses at the same time. You can also just emboss. And I thought I had to do it separately, but you don't. You can just run the whole thing through at once. So now it's too late because I've already done it. But you can, if you've already, if you did what I did and didn't realize you could do this, then you can just tuck it back in here. And again, it will just kind of lock into place and then it goes through. Um, but how did I get this? I thought, well, I will just stamp, ink up my embossing folder. You know, you can do this. Well, take a look. If you ink up the embossing folder on the wrong side, you get the back embossed. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't help. Nobody wants that. So I had embossed on this side because it's a bigger, bigger side. No, 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 no. You need to, you need to um, put your ink on this side and then you will get these little guys. See, like this. Super cute, but you only get an outline. So next question is, how do you get this? I will show you. So let me see if I have one. I have the hello right here. I'm just going to move all these out of the sock away. So these can just go in a nice little bag. And I have sayings for a long, long time. So you can do them in whatever your favorite color is. Or I did it because I wanted to use the um, Meandering Meadows paper. This paper is so beautiful. So just pick a color that goes with this and you're good to go. You could use blueberry bushel. Fresh Freesia, um, Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, um, Melon Mambo. Any one of those colors will look just beautiful with these. And did you know that the next paper pumpkin is going to coordinate with the Meandering Meadows Suite? And it's the March paper pumpkin, which means you get an extra bonus stamp set. And it's a big one because it doesn't fit on the regular paper pumpkin block. So let me know if you want that one or better yet, Subscribe yourself. Get the three-month paper pumpkin subscription because then you'll qualify for a free celebration item as well. So you might as well get the most bang for your buck. And did you know that you can skip a month anytime? So you can take that three-month subscription and make it last six months if you want. No penalty. So that's a really great thing. Okay, back to the hello. I'm going to just put it on this good paper here. And now I still have the old brayer. So if you've been around with Stampin' Up! for a while, then you may have this brayer. They discontinued it for a while. And now they have a new one in the, in the catalog. So if you don't have a brayer, it's a wonderful tool. So I'm going to use Highland Heather. And the other one is red. I really want one, but you know what? I don't need two. So out of the earth friendly. So you just roll it on your ink pad and then look, you just go over top. And that's light and you can just keep going for as dark as you want it to go. And this one's actually turning out better than my first one. There. 
So what the brayer does is that it just sticks to the top, the, the, the raised edge of your hello, and it doesn't get in between. So I'm really excited about that. Take a look. They don't always turn out perfectly. I'm going to show you one of mine that wasn't as perfect. This one has a little bit in between, but it still looks great. So here we go. Now we're going to put it on a card. So today is cheer corner. And what does that mean? It means that we're going to cheer someone up. That's what Happy Mail does. So while I'm making this card, I want you to think of someone to nominate someone for to get this card. Okay, I need a reason. Uh, let's have a look. So here it is in the catalog on page 18 called Brayering and Layering. And you'll see it right here. And there is the cute brayer. And now that they don't have too many cards made with it. But you know, there's also the heart one, which I didn't get, but very nice. And I thought I would share with you. So now we're going to make a card. Okay, so what I've done, I've already done a few things, okay? I have taken the paper, the meandering meadow paper. These strips are one and an eighth inch, these guys, and the, the end two are one inch because I didn't want to do the math of figuring it all out. That's really hard when you make a strippy card, okay? And the fresh freesia piece is four inches by six inches because I'm using a large Memories and More card. And the Memories and More card is four and a quarter by six and a quarter on the card front. Okay, so let's do this. I need my adhesive. And what I like to do is I like to do the two end pieces first. So I'm going to flip them over. And I'll put this one on that side so I don't get mixed up. A thin layer of liquid adhesive. Um, by the way, I'm doing an experiment right now with adhesives because I made an adorable mailbox card and I think it was for my my primetime group, my my also my YouTube membership, my platform membership. And I used tear and tape on the mailbox and on the little envelope. And guess what? Both of them popped open repeatedly. I, every day I see it's popped open and I press it shut. The next day it's popped open. This does not make me happy. This should not happen. So today I used liquid adhesive and I'm going to check tomorrow to see if it's still stuck together nicely. And if it is, then I am definitely in the camp of the liquid adhesive. Um, the reason I went to it is twofold. Number one, it's cheaper. Oh, look at this. It's stuck to my hand. And number two, it let, gives you a little bit of wiggle room, literally, to um, move things around. And I think that's great because sometimes you just have a crooked eye. And it's nice to be able to fix mistakes. So see, now I have my two ends on. And see, I could even have gone with one and a quarter inches. But you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, perfect. I kind of do like to eyeball it so that I know what I'm doing. There, that looks great. And the fresh freezer just makes it pop, doesn't it? So I will let you know. I should have taken a picture of the mailbox popped open. But you know, if you give a card to somebody, you don't want pieces falling apart, popping open. You want everything to stay the way you intended it to be. Okay, so I'm just making sure the bottom lines up on the sides. There. Oops. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this piece next and then I'm going to center the middle one. So if it's not all exactly the same, then it looks like it was meant to be that way, that the middle piece has just a slightly bigger gap on either side. That could have been my amazing design strategy. So let's have a look and see how that looks. So I'm just going to look at the one on the other side and I'm going to imitate that little gap. There. Slide it down a wee little bit. That looks good. Oops. See? But you see how I have that wiggle room and how I can move my pieces around a little bit. It's really nice. See? And now the middle piece does have a little bit of extra space in it, but that's okay because it's the same on both sides. But this is a great way to add interest to your card. 
And at the end of this, I'm going to show you the cards that we're going to be making or that are the alternative cards for my class in Chatham. It's always so hard to decide which one. I like to pick a sweet, but that gets a bit expensive for some people. So I wanna make it as accessible as possible. And I really love this kit that I'm going to be doing. So now we're going to put it on the large Memories and More card. See, with that nice white edge all the way around. And then we're gonna pop up the Hello. And we might use a paper butterfly accent piece, which I will show you. Okay. And just look at the corners, make sure if the top corners are good, the bottom corners will also be fine there. And now here is the hello that I could put on like so. That looks great, just like that. Or I could add a butterfly. And I don't know if you can see it, but the butterfly was sponged with Lost Lagoon for another card that I made. And it is sparkling like crazy from the, the um, oh, whatchamacallit, what's it called? Wink of Stella that I put on it. So I kind of like it just like that. Yeah, I think it looks really pretty. So here is what the, I have another one here. This one might be too big. This is what they look like a whole sheet of them. And I think, I'm not even sure how many you get, quite a few in a package. So super pretty. I'm going to show you a card that I made with that. So here is the card that I used and I just laid this on top and I used it as a mask. And you just brayer or sponge over top. And that's really cool. This is on my shorts video, I believe, and on my Instagram. So you can also find it there. And I just thought maybe I'm going to use this butterfly instead. And then take a look. Let me just do this. This is Wink of Stella. It's a glitter brush. Now they are sold out right now. They don't have any, but if you live in Chatham, I have a bunch in stock yet, extras that I've left over from my um, St. Jacob's retreat, which we have to start planning for this year. So just brush this on. It's just a glitter brush. And it just adds magic to your cards. Unfortunately, it doesn't capture well in a video, but in real life, it's just a stunner. It's a tip that you can use to add a lovely bit of discreet glitter on anywhere on your card, just to, you know, it just makes people happy. Inside, we're all children, you know, and we love a little bling. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our card, and I'm going to see if I can find, oh goodness, you know, the dimensionals are never where you need to find them. Actually, I shouldn't have complained, they weren't that far away. So we're just going to turn this around, and I use the thick basic white here, so it doesn't need too many. And I kind of like it a little bit on an angle there. And then the butterfly, I think I'm just going to use a glue dot. And the glue dots, I'm always so happy when I shake my, my glue dot container and I hear it rattle. That means it's not empty. It means I don't have to go looking for it. So I just flip that back. Here's the glue dot. I'm going to put it right there. Sticking out just a wee little bit, you can fold it in half there with your pokey tool. And then look. And I'm just going to flip it a little like so. Isn't that just the cutest? So anybody would be happy to get this card. And what you can do is open it up and then we can put another one of our things. So it says hello. And then you could put in you make my you make me happy. You could do, this one's good too, just because, and I kind of like it, just like this. This looks so um, classy, tone on tone, just because. And then we can add a strip of this pattern paper in. So let's just get a little bit of, oopsie. Oh yeah, don't forget, don't leave yet, because I'm going to show you those really cool cards that we're going to do in Chatham.
or that I'm going, yeah, we'll see. The trick to, to a really nice workshop is to not stress people out. So if you make a card that's too difficult, then no one has fun. But it's nice to show alternatives that people can do on their own following the video. So I will probably do a demonstration. Look at that. Now, we can use, see, it's not, it's six inches across, so you just want to use a little piece of this. So I want to show you something. This is what I cut off to make these strips. See, there's the rest of the sky and the tree. If you flip it, you get colors that also coordinate. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. And then, because I think this is too wide to put at the bottom. See, that's a bit too wide. So we'll trim it down to half. So let's take a look. This is one and three quarters. We'll go to one inch. Or you know what? Seven eighths. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to measure. You can just eyeball it. But let's take a look. And maybe it, it depending it depends on how much you want to write to your person. And if you want to write a fair bit, you want to have a skinnier strip. Okay. So let's just do this. It's a gorgeous sunny day here in the Netherlands. Spring comes earlier here than it does in Canada. The daffodils, the crocuses are already blooming. And uh, it's supposed to be, I think, 15 degrees today. Which happens in Canada sometimes too, but then we get frost and snow again. There, how pretty is that? So I'm super happy with my card. Now let's take a look. Here, let's have a look. This is the stamp set that coordinates, I think it coordinates with the kit that we're gonna use in Chatham. And let me grab the kit. So here's the kit and it makes nine cards which they are so nice. Like these cards are beautiful. The cards that I finished either went in the mail already or they're still in Chatham. But here's one and it's not done, but this is just what it looks like, okay? So it opens up like so and like so. And then look, the back also is decorated. And if you look carefully, you can see the shine on the white waves. So, and here I cut off a piece of the card like this. And it's going to turn into a, a Z-fold card. So I haven't finished this yet. It still needs a saying. Um, and then look, I combined this with the kit. So it opens up like this. How cool is that? And then this is one of those cards that's just been cut into pieces. So I thought that was really nice. And then here's another one with the passport See? and that is the saying he's saying life is a journey travel it well that's from the kit and this these words are from the next destination so I just think it looks it looks really nice and then here's the last one time to make new memories but you can see that this would be a great one for scrapbooking as well with those this adventure is just beginning. So it's a fun type of card. So I'm excited to share these with you. And I hope that you uh, can come and join me in Chatham. Spread the news with your friends. Oh, and here's the card I was telling you about with the mailbox. So the mailbox was popping open at the bottom and this envelope was also kept popping open. So now I'm hoping that it stays put. And that mailbox was so much fun to make because it's Kind of distressed, it was um, crumb cake and now it kind of looks like suede. So that's another fun set. There are just so many wonderful things in our catalogs right now. And you have two weeks, not even, to take advantage of the deal on the starter kit. You do not have to be a demonstrator in order to get the starter kit. You can just get the good deal. And after that, any orders that you might place for yourself after that, you get 20% off. And even for your own orders, did you know that you can get host rewards? So it's really a win, win, win. So if you like to have a wonderful hobby and save money, get the starter kit. You won't regret it. I can promise you that. There simply aren't any bad things. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you had a really wonderful time here. 
and that you've been inspired and that you've become cheered up yourself and that you've thought of someone to nominate for this cheer corner card. All right. Have a super day. Bye.